Hello everyone, I'm Kasara and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, we're here at Eternity with um, Monica. I just deleted her file. Also just realized I can't save the game, so I have no choice but to continue. <laughs> Hello? Ah yeah, see. What's happening? Namika Star, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Namika Star. Please hurry and help me. Does not exist. Help me. Does not exist. Does not exist. Did you do this to me, Namika Star? Did you? Did you delete me? Maybe. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Namika Star. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I mean, well, you killed my friends, so yeah, of course. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Namiko Star, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Okay. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Uh-huh. I've made up my mind. Namiko Star, I know I said that I did it everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I, I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I love them all, and I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you, Then... Then what? Then what, Monica? <gasps> She's gone! <gasps> Ordinary day school like any other. Usually surrounded by couples and friends walking to school. Tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Namika Star. Well, there already is one girl. Oh, look, sorry, she's back. That girl's already my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up the habit once again. Namika Star, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for what? Waking up on time. Okay, so it's the same. It's the same audio. Yeah, see? Alright, so I'm gonna skip this, cause... Alright, so we're already here. We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like a assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. 
I look forward to working with you. W working? Now, the Star, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I decided to join is your Sayuri. The literature club. Sayuri's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayuri so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, if Sayuri is happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can officially be we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh huh? What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki probably marches back to the table with tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and white and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Wow, these look amazing. Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siri so grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And Suki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Th that's not insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I, I believe you. Well, the tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Namika Star, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, manga. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, see? I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My fire are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy words. The level of critic Yes, okay, we already know you've said this big time. Yeah, you manga. See, manga is literature, yes. Guess that means I should try picking a number or something. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. I probably should have read that because I... I didn't read that. I thought they were just repeating lines from the previous dialogue already. My bad. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize... It was a guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy of... It's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I have realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Uh, j just you? Uh... Oh my god, they're... I like them together, to be honest. They're so cute together. Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Seriously, shut up. 
I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. And that's okay, and you already started to clean up the food. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Namika Star. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Namika Star. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pu pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Namika Star. I really wanna thank you. For what? I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Uh, there's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Uh, that's right. I know everything what, that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything that makes star. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things Monica did to make everyone sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole wide world. Well, you know what I mean. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Full. Oh, firm. What if I say no, Sayuri? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, uh, I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayuri. Goodbye, Namika Star. Goodbye, Literature Club. piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet like at all oh but i wrote you a song so monica got rid of sayuri because i worked really really hard on it okay so yeah okay well playing audio Okay, well, I guess this is the ending, like the ending, ending to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing the other routes, like, oh, obviously off camera, because it's a really long game and whatnot. So, if you guys enjoyed it, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, you just didn't enjoy it, I can't really please everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.